This is a quick look around one of the talk through sites that Kent Raynet were using in support of the London to Canterbury cycle ride on the 11th of September 2011. This site's located just near uh, Shottenton in Kent and is manned here by myself M0 VFC and Ray G6 RVS. So here we have the collinear running the primary repeater and that's going from 6 metres which links into the other repeaters earlier along the course to 70 centimetres which is for stations local to this torque through. As you can see at the bottom of the mast under the rain cover there's the car battery and the body of the radio. It's an FT8900. We're then using about 50 metres of Cat5 Ethernet cable to separate the head and that allows us to run it remotely without having to carry a lot of feeder up the hill. It's about half a mile walk from the nearest road and quite a significant ascent as well, so minimising weight is really important on this site. So this is the main operating position with Ray G6 RVS here. And you can see the front panel of the 8900. Not instantly. Okay, in which case... And the speaker actually comes down the spare pair of the uh, Cat5. Yes, understood. Marshals are here. So you can see that's running as talk through. Moving across, we've then got the head for the secondary repeater, which is running between 10 metres and 70 cents. 10 metres being a drop down to the control station in Canterbury. There's then an engineering repeater, which runs between 2 metres and a second 70 centimetre frequency. And then finally, a radio which allows us to operate on the engineering frequency ourselves. First one, the first one's up at Shooter's Hill. Okay. On the second mast, we have a dual band collinear that's running 2 metres and 70 centimetres, and that's connected to the engineering repeater you saw a moment ago. This provided a separate net from the main traffic net allowing any comments not directly related to exercise content to be passed without affecting any other traffic. And that's the body for the 10 meter to 70 cents repeater. These diplexes combine a 10 meter dipole with a tri-band 6 meter, 2 meter and 70 centimeter collinear. The 10 meters and 70 cents feeding into the secondary repeater that provides the drop down to control and 2 metres feeding our local engineering radio. That's the 10 metre dipole. That's just a low dipole linking back to the control location in Canterbury. And on the third mast, the tri-band collinear I just mentioned. You can see the sort of takeoff we have from this site. West through south as we're seeing at the moment, through east, the land drops steeply away from the site and to the north it's very similar after a short flat plateau. And finally the important bit of the station, the kettle. <laughs> 